Alright, now we're on the road. What's going on guys? It's Malik, aka Blackout, back again with another video for you guys. And today, what else could we be talking about other than the brand new 2018 Camaro ZL1 1LE? Got to the mouthful. Um, but it's been a while since we've done a video like this with me just talking to you guys. And I definitely want to get back to making these videos. They did really well. So, you know, that's definitely a motivator as well. But I definitely want to get back to making these style of videos where we just talk about, you know, some of the new introductions to the automotive community. Um, so, first off on my list would be the new 2018 Camaro ZL11 LE. And I just want to go over my thoughts as well as get some of you guys' feedback of what you guys think of the car and come down to the base question of do I think it's worth it. But before I could do that, I want to make sure that you guys know what the ZL1 is. The ZL1 is a Camaro, it's the 6th gen um, platform. And pretty much with the ZL1s, it is a 6.2 liter V8 supercharged. So those things are pushing an enormous amount of horsepower out of an, I wouldn't say extremely lightweight car, but in comparison to the rest of the muscle cars and Dodge Challengers and other things like that, or even what Chevy has done in the past with their Camaros, it is an extremely light Camaro. It's an extremely light muscle car. So that kind of power, that kind of torque and numbers coming out of a car like that is definitely something that's not to be laughed at or anything like that. And even with that horsepower number, they do still hook pretty well. As of right now, I believe they have 285s um, as far as the tire setup on that specific car. And coming with the new ZL1 1LE, -L they're moving up to 305s in the front and 325s in the rear, if I'm wrong, correct me on that. But um, 305s in the front, 325s in the rear, which let's just say that thing is going to hook and it's going to hook every time that it's going to be able to put every inch of power that that thing has available down to the ground every single time and that's exactly what i look like when you make a car with that much power that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for not only something with the biggest horsepower number i'm not looking to run up to a car meet and say hey i have 707 horsepower yeah that's great but can you put it to the ground no so it doesn't really matter because the GTR was like 485 are still gonna blow through you because it's putting every inch of that 485 to the ground where you may get a quarter of what the power that you have available out of a Dodge Hellcat which they're great cars nothing against them I would own one if I had the opportunity but I would also be heavily looking into replacing the rear tires the second I got one because the tire that you're skinny but um, back to the original topic of conversation, the Camaro ZL1 1LE. It's basically a performance track oriented ZL1. You know what the ZL1 is, you know what it's capable of, and it's great in a straight line, it's great in daily conditions. But if you're playing on tracking the car, the 1LE may be a little bit more in tune to what it is that you're gonna be using the car for. Um, it'll come with a lot of nice styling aspects as far as the front splitter, um, rear carbon fiber spoiler, and some other nice goodies, um, which will definitely help it getting around a track. So if you're very track oriented, the 1LE may be the way to go for you. Not only will it hook, not only will it barely slip when cornering, it not only has the appearance, but it has the handling capabilities as well with some of the add-ons like I said with the carbon fiber splitter it's putting down a good amount of downforce if I can find the exact number I'll throw it up right here in the video but it's putting up a great amount of downforce um, with the add-ons that they have done as far as handling goes so that car is gonna be great and when I say great it's gonna be damn near perfect on a track one of the best and as of right now when Chevy unveiled the um, car Basically, it turned out to be a whole three seconds faster than the Camaro ZL1, the current ones. Which, I know three seconds doesn't sound like much, but when you know cars and you really look at that, that three seconds definitely counts. So, me personally, base question, why I made this video, would I buy a Camaro ZL1 1LE? No. See, with me, what I would personally want to do is I would want to buy the base ZL1, maybe a couple of nice add-ons or whatever from Chevy directly. And from there, I would want to make my own contender. I would, because the Z01 1LE has the exact same motor, the exact same power plant, the exact same, just everything 
that the current VO1s have. The only difference is a couple of, you know, tuning and a couple of different aspects, little small parts that you can add on after the fact, some bolt-ons that you can just add on, which will push out the same numbers, if not more. So I would want to save that 10 grand and instead invest it into different parts to make the car more specific to me. Um, that's just the way I like doing things. I would prefer build a car rather than buy it. Um, but then again, I say that and I've had a G37 for a year and haven't done anything serious when it comes to modifications. So there's definitely something I want to change, but you know, bills, stuff like that. But to the current topic and the most important topic of the video and the answer to my overall question, would I buy one? The answer is no. It's a great car. I would understand why someone would buy one, but I don't track my cars. It's a little bit too expensive for my taste. If I had the access to a track where I can just run through it and have my fun, by all means, I'd be there every single day. But I have my fun on the road, and that's what the Z01 is made for. The Z01 is tailor-made for a daily road car. Granted, the SS or even the six cylinders may be better for a daily driver, but if you want that power, you want something that you can take around the track if given the opportunity, but something that you could also drive on the road on a daily basis, be comfortable, and ultimately save 10 grand, then it's, it's a no question, no brainer. The Z01 is the way to go, in my opinion. So that's basically my thoughts. Yes, the 1LE is gonna be a great car. There's gonna be a lot of nice things on it, but I think the Z01 is definitely the way to go. All right, and now that you guys have my thoughts and what I think of the new Camaro Z01 1LE and whether or not I would buy it, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about the car? Do you guys think it's worth some money? Would you buy one or would you hold out for a possible Z28? What are you guys planning on doing when it comes to a car like that? Or even if you don't have the money financially to get one, what would you do if put in the position to where you could buy one? Um, for me, you guys know my thoughts, you know that it's not something that I would personally do, but I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking, but that would be the conclusion of the video, so I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, another great vlog, another episode of Malik's Mind, and definitely there's going to be more in the future. It's just been a while because of some other stuff that I've been handling with college and stuff like that, and definitely some videos that I wanted to make for you guys with my personal car. So let me go ahead and know what you guys think. Any feedback, any comments would be appreciated. Anything that you guys think that I left out or something that you guys would like to see me add in the future, I would love to know. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Show me how you do. Tell me how you feel. Cause you say you're living fine all the time. But I know what's real. And it's all the same. Tell me how you deal. Right now so for those of you that made it to the end of this video um for starters like share subscribe thank you for watching but i also wanted to run a couple things by you a couple videos that I'm planning for the future um the tire review on my current g37 that i told you guys to expect that one is honestly probably going to be filmed right now so if i'm wearing the same shirt that's why um so i'm probably going to film that video right now on my way back to my dorm but that's one video that's going to be coming up very soon. Five things I hate, five things I love about my G37. Then I may even do a five things my friends hate and five things my friends love. Um, the NMDs that you guys saw, the review is going to be there um, coming up pretty soon as well. Probably on Wednesday, so it may even be up before this video hits. So basically, um, just giving you guys a quick rundown of some videos that I have planned in the future. And that's just a small amount of them. There's a lot that I have planned, which to be honest, has me thinking about adding another day to my upload schedule. So let me know what you guys think about that. But as of right now, I like the consistency of two. So that's why I haven't done anything yet. But thank you guys. Like I said, ending. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys more than you know. 
the videos on the channel have been doing great thus far. The Challenger video is at like 1.5. The last Mustang video I did is at like almost 5K views. So the videos have been doing great and that's the type of thing that gives me the motivation to make more. That's why I wanted to come back and do another Malik's Mind episode. So I just hope that you guys continue to show that support, share it so that way more people can see it. And now we're on the road to 200. We hit 100 extremely quick. Now we're sitting at around 150. So let's get that last 50 that we need and let's hit 200 and keep moving. So like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. I'm on a new way.